will be manly. Catherine Hepburn was a fiercely independent actress. Unusually for her time, she took control of her career and through her roles and her clothes, challenged the prevailing notion of femininity. You can't talk about Catherine Hepburn and clothes and not mention her trademark khakis. And that, in fact, is the first thing you see when you enter the exhibition. Her insistence on wearing trousers because they were more comfortable than skirts was, of course, very unconventional at the time. And at first it made her a fashion rebel, but ultimately it turned her into a fashion icon. Comfort didn't mean sacrificing style. She appreciated good fabrics, paid attention to detail. And there was plenty of glamour. The actress knew the importance of costume in defining a character and worked closely with designers. For this one, she also did a pencil sketch and wrote on it, this is it. So she had a very precise idea of what she should be wearing. Very in precise. She sort of wrote about the sleeves that looked like they were just wadded up, that it made um, her bodice look larger. This satin and lace wedding gown is from one of her earliest plays, The Lake. It was a disaster for Hepburn's career. She'd been talked into it by the director, but she kept the costume anyway. She kept actually all of his letters and all the various versions of the script. What, as a reminder of what went wrong? As a reminder of, number one, what went wrong. As a reminder, number two, of um, don't take anyone else's word for what you should do with your career, which, of course, was a fairly revolutionary thought in 1932. Hello, Mike. She made a comeback with the smash hit Philadelphia Hello, Story. Mike. The long red cover-up for the goddess dress is one of the more striking costumes. And who can forget this stunning gown from the film Adam's Rib, where she spars on screen in a battle of the sexes with her longtime partner, Spencer Tracy. Hepburn's personal sense of style, though, has been her legacy. Catherine's whole spirit, her own sense of boyish allure, was very much the pants, the freedom, the sort of rebelliousness that she brought to that particular look. And it's so enduring. Uh, I think whenever we think about that crisp white shirt and a great tailored pant, we think of Catherine Hepburn. It's a quintessentially American look. Well, what am I supposed to do? Catherine what Hepburn herself was well aware of her influence. My personality, which was rather a departure at that time for a girl, uh, was the future. With a wardrobe that was for every woman and at the same time uniquely Hepburn. Barbara Platt, BBC News, New York.